Let's take a look at adding seams to a football. We'll use this image right here as our reference and we'll add these seams to our basic shape. Let's go ahead and start by creating the basic shape. So I'm going to close this down and we'll come over to the create tab and we'll start with a ball. Okay, so we'll just create a quick ball. We'll make it perfect, a perfect sphere by holding down the control key when we click and drag. Uh, that way it constrains it. Okay. And it's got a lot of segments. I'm going to use sub patches, so we'll use subdivisional surfaces, and I don't need this much geometry if I'm going to if I'm going to use sub patches. So, in for numeric, and we'll change the number of sides to 12, and we'll go ahead and leave the segments to to 12, but we could lower that. We'll leave it to 12, and uh, we'll commit to that. I'm going to go ahead and center with F2. Okay, now, it's kind of a fat football. We need to trim it down and we need to get it more of the shape. There's a bunch of different ways we can go about doing it, but a tool that I like to use is Spline Guide. Uh, it makes uh, light work of this. So I'm going to go over to Modify, Transform, More, and I'm going to choose Spline Guide. In for numeric, it automatically places these nodes here, and those are based off of curve points, okay? And it also right now doesn't know what axis to run it down. I want it to run across the X. So we can see here it's running across the X. I'll move this down so we can see that. Okay, so the curve points, I could use all of these, uh, but I'm actually going to lower the amount to three just because it'll help us get our shape uh, that much easier. I'm going to start with just moving this side down some and you can see it starts tapering that off. And I'll move this side down and it tapers that off and it's not quite the shape yet. I'm going to move the middle one down a bit and there we go. We got our football shape. Now we're using um, these three handles, the curve points, to draw the spline which is then deforming the shape. I like the shape there so I'll go ahead and commit to that. Hit tab to turn on sub patches. Now we've got the um, basic shape of our, our football but we need to add those seams. So I'm going to move over, let's go full screen with the right view, and I'm going to move to edge selection mode and just select the center edges, zoom in, and I can select these as well. Okay. So let's go to our perspective window, zoom in, control B for edge bevel, and I'm just going to just barely edge bevel them out. If we look in this window, we can see that the points, if I just left click and drag, I'm barely moving, I'm barely moving these points away from each other. Okay, and I'll go ahead and commit to that. If I hit tab, you'll see we've just created a little bit of a gutter between there. Okay, now all that's left to do is inset it so that we have our seam. So, Let's select a few polygons on, on here and select loop. And we'll use L, which is, we want to use connect. So construct, connect, but I like using the shortcut key, which is L. And it will slice all the way through. It puts a, a new row of uh, points, a new row of edges right between there. If I toggle over to points, all those points are selected, which allow me to H for stretch, and I'm just going to stretch them in a little bit and stretch them in a little bit, something like that. Okay, deselect. Now I'm going to grab these two and select loop. L for connect. I've got the points. Now in the top view, I'll just bring those in and bring those in, something like that and go to texture and there are our seams. Now, I want to clean up the model a little bit. It's not required. If you notice here, we've got some weird pinching going on and I want to clean that up. The pinching's happening because of triangles. Whenever I work with uh, subdivisional surfaces or sub patches, I like to build my objects with 100% four point polys or what I like to refer to as quads. I like an all quad mesh. And we can go in and do that here and we'll clean this up and we'll make it look a whole lot nicer. Okay, so we'll take a look at this end. We're going to do each end, instead of having symmetry on, I'm going to do each end separate, uh, independent of each other so that you can see the process uh, a couple times. So I'm going to 
select these two and hit Shift Z, which is merge polys, merge polys, merge polys. Actually, let's not do these two. Let's do these two and these two. That's going to put the two triangles that are left over right across from each other. And if I select these two polys and hit L for connect, it turns those into quads. And then I'm just going to select these two and control K, which is spin quads. And I'm just going to change my flow so that it's much nicer, okay, which is going to give us a, a better result. So there's a much cleaner look. Let's go to texture. We'll see that we've got nice, smooth geometry, no weird pinching taking place because of those, tri those triangles have been removed. Okay, so let's compare this to this. Okay, can you see the little uh, pinching that's taking place? Okay, well, we'll get rid of that over here as well. So we'll take a look at our geometry and we'll take these two and we'll shift Z, shift Z, shift Z, that's merge polys, shift Z, except I'm going to back up because I want these triangles to, to be right next to each other. So I'm going to shift Z, shift Z, leaving these two and these two that I can hit L, hit L, which is connect, okay? And then I'm just going to control K for spin quads, control K twice for spin quads here, just spinning those quads. I'm really just spinning the edge here uh, between the two quads. And I end up with much nicer geometry there, okay? Much cleaner. I'm going to do one last thing and we'll call this done. We've added our, our um, seams to our, our football. I'm just going to give it a quick surface. So we'll call this football um, base. And we'll do brown. And then I'm just going to grab these polygons and hold down shift and these polygons. And we'll just do stripe. I'll make them white. And we'll end up with a good start on our football. We still need to add the laces, but we've got the seams in there. We've got a nice clean sub patch mesh with no triangles. If you ever wanted to, to, to get a quick look to see if you have any triangles um, left in your object, just hit W for statistics, for polygon st statistics. And you will see that we've got an all quad mesh, 248 uh, sub patches. And uh, there we go. We got our, our seams in our football.